Maddie, and Nate was in here for a brief second. Hi, Nate. Uh, bye, Nate. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing great tonight. We are doing well. We got out our fancy wine glass from Sue Bell. Thank you again, Sue. And the vintage of the evening is... We gotta wait till Maddie glugs it down into her cup. St. Julian Envy. It's a sweet white wine from Michigan. Hmm. The for the lady. For the lady, thank you. Let me sniff it and swirl it. This is a... I believe it's a Riesling, it just, but it doesn't say it. That's sort of chilled. Mmm. Delish. Love it. Super good. All right. I have missed everybody. Um, I know I have been somewhat absent on YouTube, and I apologize for that. Um, just some things were going on that maybe I'll get into on a later date. Um, we're not going to talk about it tonight, though. Tonight, it's all about having fun. So we're going to have some fun. So, Maddie. What's fun? <laughs> What's fun? What's fun in the world? Oh, we've got um, big news. We don't have, uh, I'll just say hi to everybody who's here tonight in chat. Hi, Mary Lou and Lisa and Jody and Lucidja. I think I'm saying that right. I think I've said it right in the past. Um, Chewy is here and Roxy Marie. Hello. Patricia and Sun Moon Love. Hi, Patty. Coloring with Cats is here and Cynthia's here. Hi, Cynthia. So nice to see you. Oh, you guys can see my messy. I'm going to adjust my camera angle because you guys can see my messy, <laughs> messy yarn in the background and my messy door handle. I still have not um, fixed up my craft room. Um, yeah, it's still a mess. Roxy Marie, today is a fun day. It's your birthday. Well, happy, Ooh, birthday. happy birthday. Tink, we're going to toast for your birthday. Cheers. Tink, cheers to your birthday. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Coloring with cats, that's what a craft room is all about is messy. I agree. That's what, I mean, that's basically what my craft room is for is to hide the mess of all my crafts. Oh, and I don't think she's here, or if she's, she, she might come later. Um, Lisa, Lisa Douglas, oops, sent a package, and it has Maddie's name on it. What? So, yeah, so I'm going to let, ah! yeah, I'm going to let Maddie open up. I have waited to open that. I'm going to let oh Maddie goodness. open up the happy mail. So we have happy mail from Lisa. I, I don't know what else is in, in there. Embalmo. Hello, and Karen. Whoa. Hi, Karen. Oh, oh, that's your pointy that's tool. Pokey. That's your pokey tool. It's beautiful. I, I oh, love the Oh, this pants. is for my background, Lisa. Thank you so much. This is for my background for my um. Oh, there's more. For my uh, diamond coloring. Thank you so much. Oh, no, don't lose that sticky. No, I won't. Thank oh, you so good. much. That's so nice you of you. This? And it has little pants on it with a heart. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's take it out of the package yeah. and show everybody. Because it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so you. Gorgeous. It's like she knows you or something. No. So Lisa made that. She makes these and they are quite useful tools for multiple things. I use mine for a lot of stuff. So now Maddie has her very own pokey Yay. tool. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, Lisa, for all the drills, too. Um, those will come in quite handy because I have not gotten very far on that diamond coloring canvas, and I'm not working on it tonight because I have to concentrate really hard to work on that, and I can't do that in a live. So I am working on a different Distracted by Diamonds canvas. I'm working on Yellow Frida. Um, by Distracted by Diamonds, and Maddie is just finishing kidding up Little Dragon Z from Diamond Art Club at, uh, by Sheena Pike. So that's what she's going to be working on tonight. What I've been wanting to do for so long. She has. She's I been waiting. I think it's so cute. Oh, you're on vacation and you miss diamond painting coloring with cats? Where are you at? Any place fun? I hope that you're someplace with, with good weather because it's been cold, cold. here. 
cold and rainy. It has been rainy every single day. And this is about the time of the year. I don't know if anybody else is like this, anybody who lives in northern climates. But this time of the year is about when I start getting the winter blues. Oh, same. Well, the, usually February, late February. See, mine is March. For me, it's March. I start to get the winter blues because um, it's like the threat of spring is upon us, but it hasn't happened yet. And it's just like you're just so ready so for so sick of the oh, cold and it's never sunny. And it's never sunny. Yeah never sunny and it's, it seems like the yeah the sky's always gray and it's always rainy and it just yuck just yucky so I don't know if anybody else feels like that so coloring with cats um I hope that you are um someplace warm um Brenda hi Brenda how are you Angie have sent you a couple emails. You know what, Brenda? I have not seen any emails. I um, am going to be honest with you. I've been dealing with some stuff lately, and I have not been. Maddie, actually, I wasn't going to go live tonight, and Maddie actually talked me into it. Um, and I have been out of the loop with all things. Um, I haven't done anything on YouTube. I haven't done anything with my email. I haven't done anything at all. So I will get to that. I'm feeling, I, I, I'm ready to get back into things. Um, and I will catch up with everybody. Um, I'll catch up with everybody this week. I promise. I promise I will. Um, you went from Michigan to Florida coloring with cats. Awesome. Ooh. Florida sounds awesome. Sounds Cynthia, I am not. Cynthia said she'll trade us. It was 91 there today. Ooh, I that would, sounds amazing. Yeah, that sounds absolutely amazing. I will absolutely trade you. It was 77 in West Virginia. Oh, yeah. Maddie. Awesome. I got a tan. Maddie went on a little mini vacation last weekend, and I haven't even talked to her about it. So let's um, talk to Maddie and see about her trip. It was so fun. So we went to Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. It's like a little town. I think it's where the Shenandoah and the Potomac meet. And I was really excited about that. And I was always trying to figure out which river was which. Okay. But we went hiking. We hiked the Appalachian Trail, hiked 10 miles. And four miles of it were uphill. And I was dying. I took so many breaks. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. But I was really proud of myself because we stopped at a beautiful cliff that overlooked the river. And it was crazy beautiful did you see town did you see any through hikers like that were hiking the Appalachian yes. Trail like we, with their packs and yes, everything yes the big backpacks and stuff cool. yeah we did I saw a brown recluse spider are you sure or are you just guessing I'm just guessing because it was huge yeah she was just guessing she didn't see a brown recluse spider I did I don't believe that she did Austin saw it too I freaked out I started running but it, the Harper's Ferry was the cutest town like it was so, uh, it was like a Civil War place, you know, where there's Civil War things happening. We saw Jefferson's Rock. So I asked people, what is Jefferson's Rock? They said Jefferson stood on that rock and he thought, I like this place. Well, oh. And so they made it a thing. It was a really <laughs> big rock in, a, in the woods. Okay. Cool. He said, I like this place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's cool. What else did you do while you were there? Went to Pittsburgh on the way back. Because I've always been obsessed with Pittsburgh. And how was it? Were you impressed? I was impressed, but I think I hyped it up in my head a little too much like I do with everything. I warned you that Pittsburgh really wasn't... I mean, no offense to anybody from Pittsburgh, but it's not exactly a vacation destination. We went to the Strip District. What's that? With full of strippers? No. Oh. It's like a bunch of shops. Oh. Which was kind of cool. There was a craft... Um, it was a craft store, but it was like a full-time craft show. So oh. people just bring in their stuff to sell. Like, it's a craft show all year round. So kind of, that's kind of cool. I bought some earrings that look like little Pepsi cans. Or Sprite. It was Sprite. Cool. And, yeah. And a map of Pittsburgh for the wall. Very um, cool. But it was really fun. And then after our 10-mile Is mile Pittsburgh hike, really on the, I mean, I'm not so great with geography. Is Pittsburgh really on the way from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. It really? was like, it was like a little out of the way, but we went through Pennsylvania. Oh. And it's in like the middle, but 
Austin got so mad at me after our 10 mile hike. I had had a light breakfast. We hiked for five hours. We barely brought enough water. Like it was half a gallon and you know, I'm right. getting tired. So I was starving and I was like, we're in Maryland at this point. And I was like, I just want to walk to a restaurant. And there's only one restaurant and it was a 30 minute walk. And then I had us walking down the side of a highway on the shoulder. There's no place to walk or anything, just the shoulder. I'll, like there's bridges and there's cars going by so fast. He was so mad. I've never like seen Like an interstate highway? Yeah. Like, you know, the speed limit's like 60. Why would they give you direction, walking directions on a highway? That's what I was wondering. I was like, the map knows what it's doing. <laughs> it's like that episode of The Office. Okay, The Office. Yeah, okay. With Michael Scott. Yeah, they crash into the No, lake. it's right. Does it everybody, knows what it's doing. Does anybody remember that episode from The Office when Michael, Squ Michael Scott and Dwight Schrute, they were driving somewhere and the GPS told them to turn right right now and like turning right made them go into a uh, lake. <laughs> driving in the lake. It was driving like it straight. It, it, might, it, it might be a shortcut. <laughs> they drive straight into That's the lake. That's exactly what happened. They got Maddie walking down the interstate. Safe. Right? I can see Austin be, I, I can see why Austin would be mad. I'd be mad too. But then once we ended up at the restaurant, he was happy. And he told me not to tell anybody, but we called an Uber from Maryland back to West Virginia because we couldn't walk anymore. That's hilarious. It was a three hour walk back. Because we walked from our Airbnb to the mountains. Oh, you called it Uber? Yeah. <laughs> That's the hilarious. only Uber in the area. And he told you not to tell anyone, so you're telling everybody on, literally everybody on the internet. Yeah. Okay. That makes he sense. He was like, no, don't tell anybody you <laughs> <to> the Uber. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so envious of you coloring with cats. 68 here in Florida and loving it. I wish I was in Florida. Ugh. Oh, Cynthia, you're from West Virginia? That's awesome. I love West Virginia. I love West Virginia, too. When I was a kid, remember, I wanted to live there. Yes, West Virginia's beautiful. So beautiful. Hi, Pam. How are you? And Lori, nice to see you. All right, Coloring with Cats, you got to get up at 8 a.m., go to powwow to the beach, to a powwow Ooh. on the beach. What's Fun. a powwow on the beach? What like is a party? A yeah, that sounds like a blast. I don't blame you. I'd be uh, going to bed, too. I'm so jealous. I'm super jealous. Good night. Have fun tomorrow. Hi, Shawana. How are you? Hi, Shawana. Oh, to... my gosh. Guess what Cynthia just said hmm. about West Virginia. What? It's almost heaven. It is. Almost heaven. I was seeing West it the whole Virginia. time. Shenandoah River. Shenandoah River. <laughs> The rich mountains. <laughs> the trees are old there, older than the. Hills. Austin called me Mountain Mama the whole time. He called you Mountain Mama yeah. the whole time you were there. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Sorry, we both took a wine. <laughs> we took a. We both took a gulp. wine drink gulp at the same time. So Maddie and Nate did something interesting today. We went to, this was about, I haven't even talked to you guys since then. We went, um, you know, you guys know that Maddie's boyfriend, Austin, is in a couple of bands. Well, a few weeks ago, Nate and I went to watch one of his bands play in a show where there were about nine different bands playing in this show. Um, and Nate was just mesmerized, fascinated. He loved it. He, we left there, and at the conclusion of it, he decided that he wants to start a band. He wants to play in a band. He wants to play guitar in a band. So ever since then, he's been bugging me about guitar lessons. So Maddie has a guitar, and she's taken a couple of guitar lessons. And um, so today, Maddie and Nate went out shopping, and Nate bought a guitar. So I have all afternoon been listening... <laughs> To these guys, they've got this lady that they found on YouTube. I tell you, you can learn anything you on can. YouTube. You can literally, I mean, experimental physics, nuclear physics, anyone? Yeah, you can learn yeah. it on YouTube. Go for it. You, yeah, go for it. You can, you can, yeah, you can learn anything on YouTube. So uh, they are listening to a lady on YouTube and learning how to play the guitar, and Nate's going to start a band. I like it. I'm really enjoying learning. It's, it's really, fun. It's really fun. I want to. I can't wait to learn the chords and watch them all come together into I once, song. I um, I had a uh, two thousand Volk, Volkswagen Beetle 
that needed a new battery, and I went on YouTube and learned how to change the battery and put a new battery in it. Nice. I know. I was pretty proud of myself that I did it myself. And I don't know if you know anything about, like, the engine compartments of one of those, but they're... Not a VW Beetle. No. <laughs> anything else. Anything else, you would have had it, right? <laughs> they're very, very compact because it's such a small car. And I had to, like, remove, like, the water pump to get to the battery. Jeez. Or some or something or other. Maybe it wasn't the water. I had to remove something. But I learned how to do it just from watching a YouTube video. That's awesome. I know. I I could never. I don't even know how to put air in my tire. I've never done it. Never you, had to. My dad, when I was learning how to drive, um, my dad made me learn how to um, change the brakes in my car. Put brakes on my car. And That's change smart. the oil. Yep. He, just, he said that if you're going to drive, you better know how to. But then I lived with my grandparents, and my grandpa was so old-fashioned that he didn't even think that a girl should have to put gas in her own car. So my grandpa He was a smart man. So my grandpa, every week, would take my car to the gas station and fill it up with Aww. gas. I know. I miss that. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that. Oh, Pam, your husband's a drummer in a band. Very, oh, very so cool. cool. Austin's a drummer, too. Oh, Cynthia, I'm so sorry you've sent me messages. Like I said, I have not been, I have been completely off all. Trust me, I've called her dozens of times. Yeah, even Maddie hasn't been able to get a hold of me, and she's my daughter. Um, there's just, yeah, um. And like I said, I don't want to get into it tonight, but, um, yeah, it's been a tough time and, um, but I'm back, I'm back and, and everything's, everything's going to be fine. It's fine. It's just fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Doesn't that instill confidence? <laughs> But we, uh, so th that's what we did today. And then I made pork chops and applesauce for dinner. We had pork Delish. chops. Yeah. Fried potatoes, candied carrots, and um, stuffing. Of course, you got to have stuffing and applesauce um, for dinner. So that was pretty good. It wasn't really my best. I got I to gotta put it out there. I thought it was good. Mm. Pork chops were a little dry. I always try to cook pork chops. I bake them with the stuffing to try to keep them from getting so dried out. But I have a hard time with my pork chops getting dry. Does anybody else have that problem? I, I just I have a hard time with pork chops. Oh, oh Nate's practicing. I hear him. Cynthia said their son's been in a band with his dad since he was 15. Now he plays guitar, keyboards, and has a beautiful voice. That's, That's awesome. awesome. That is so cool. My ba Roxy Marie says my grandfather got upset I was learning to drive. He said woman shouldn't drive. She'll have a husband to do that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, Pam, uh, he still amazes me, both hands and feet doing different things at the same time, and he sings at the same time. Uh, right, I, Pam? I can't. I can't. I watch Austin, because Austin has um, put a couple videos on YouTube of him drumming, and I watch him, and I'm just absolutely mesmerized by watching people who can play the drums. He is constantly drumming, like, on his lap, or on, if he's at a table, on a table. It, it annoys me so much, but it is impressive, even that, the way he can move hands differently. But you're right, Pam, like, you can move both he, hands and your feet and your feet all in different times wow. and keep a, I don't know, I, it, it's... And it's sing? And sing. That's, I mean, it is truly talented. And some songs, like the lyrics, the way they're sung, don't match don't how match the up music with the is the beat going. of the yeah, music. Yeah, so how do right. you even figure that out? Right. It's very, I, I always say if I could change anything about myself, it would be that I have musical talent. Yeah, I wish I could sing. Singing brings me so much joy. Well, then do it. I 
sing all the time. The world be damned. Sing if you want to sing, my child. I, but I just have a horrible voice. Austin I, tells you you're tone deaf. He's good. I don't think I am. I think I sound good, and people have told me I have a good voice. You're the songbird of your generation. I know. I'm a combination of Gertie and Jesus. That's right. But I love singing. I do, too. I just don't do it in front of people. <laughs> It's easy. You just move your voice up and down. Um, it's easy. Yeah, you just move your... It's just like talking. You just move your voice up and down. <laughs> yeah. So, how sing. was your drive? It was good. We woke up 4.30 in the morning. Wow. Yeah. And it was St. Patrick's Day the night before, so you know how that goes. Oh, so were you a little overhanging? No. Only a little. They had green beer at Tony B's, and that was kind of weird, but it was like two bucks, so. Well, you gotta have green beer for two dollars. I know, exactly. And then, um, we went to bed at like midnight or so, but I slept the first two hours in the car. Oh, Pam, her husband says she sounds like Marge Simpson. <laughs> That's funny. But she sings anyway. That's hilarious, yeah. Pam. I would too. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, my grandpa, um, he was a very old-fashioned man. He he probably would not have wanted me to drive if he would have had his way. But um, I think he got sick of having to take me to school in pom-pom practice and that kind of stuff. So he kind of finally gave in. My grandmother never drove. My grandmother um, spent her whole life and never got her driver's license, never drove. Did you know that? Mm. Yeah, grandma never drove. One time, my my grandma Judy, who she was like eighty something at the time, still in her eighties. It was a couple years ago, and she has neuropathy, so she can't feel her feet at all. And she, we thought it was a good idea. She's like, I just haven't driven a car in years. I was like, okay, just take my car for for a spin. We'll go around the block. She slammed on the gas and we sped forward so fast it was terrifying. And I still let her drive around the block. You did. <laughs> How long ago was this? A few years ago. It was oh, kind of Maddie. Died. It was, she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she did. <laughs> That's funny. I took her to the hair salon today, and we had to wait a little while for appointment. And so we walked around the store, like Walmart, for a while. She didn't walk. No, she was in her Amigo. Okay. And then... Um, we came back to the salon, we were waiting in there, and she so loudly goes, I'm never coming here again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wait. <laughs> I was like, Grandma, do you want me to take you tomorrow? She's like, no, I'm not getting dressed up again. <laughs> I'm not getting dressed up again. Which means she got out of her pajamas. She did her makeup, and... She always does her makeup, even if she's not going anywhere. I remember, um... Grandma Judy is my ex-mother-in-law, for those of you who don't know. It's my ex-husband. Well, obviously, it's my ex-husband's mom. And when I was married to her son, she would chastise me to no end because I didn't wear makeup very often. I mean, I was young. I was fairly attractive. I just didn't feel like I needed to wear makeup all the time. We were having a birthday party for Madeline. Madeline was turning one year old. So here I had a one-year-old and a toddler at the time because Emily would have been four, three and a half, four. And um, I was working full-time. I was going to school full-time. And, you know, we had a house and a dog. And just I was leading a very harried, very busy lifestyle. And I was just, I was exhausted to be out. I mean, everybody knows those times when you're just, exhausted and I got ready I was getting ready for the party I had been cleaning all day I had been cooking you know getting ready for the party and my mother-in-law arrived for the party and was just absolutely mortified that I didn't have any makeup on she says to me Sounds in like front it. in front of everyone she says to me Angie could you at least go and put on some lipstick and blush <laughs> she always says that to me could you at least just go put on some lipstick and blush you could have at least brushed your hair. <laughs> you could have at least brushed your hair. Like grandma's 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Old-fashioned. 
Cynthia's granny never drove either. I know, I can't imagine. I can't imagine either. Hi, Kaden. How are you? Oh. Now I wish I couldn't drive because Jeff does most. I usually, I mean, I don't go many places. Jeff usually takes care of everything for me. But the times when I do have to do it myself, I really wish I could say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't drive. Yeah. Maybe you could get a couple of DUIs or something. Get a couple of DUIs. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> There's something to aim for. <laughs> aim high. <laughs> so do you ever do this? Like, I drive a lot. Sometimes I'll be laying in bed and I freak out because I think about how scary it is to drive. But then I go get in my car in the morning. I'm like, this is fine. It's normal. I just drive. That's a sign that you're growing up, Maddie. Really? Yeah. When you're young, you feel invincible and you feel like there's like death is not a real thing. Yeah. When you get older, you realize that your life is very fragile. Yeah, exactly. I think, why do I just get in that big metal thing? Yeah, li I mean, life is very fragile and you, it can be over in like a snap just by exactly. the, just by the smallest error. I mean, I thought about that, like while I'm driving, like I've thought about, like, if I've reached for something, like, what if I accidentally, you know, reached, like, yeah. and jerked the wheel? Like, that could have spelled death for not only me, but who else I've around me? I've actually done me. that. Took off, remember I took off my mirror and both my door handles? I was reaching for my hairbrush in the back seat. Mm -hmm, ran into mm -hmm. a speed limit sign. Took off my things. But yeah, so I, I'm, I wake up at night, or sit up at night. I think, oh my god, I really have to drive to work? That's terrifying. It, it, it kind of is, especially the way you drive. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a good driver. I'm not. You inherited that from your mother. I am not a good driver. How about you guys out there? Are you guys good drivers or bad drivers? I am a self-admitted bad driver. It's not that I... I brought this toolkit in for you that has baggy. Thank you. Um, I self-proclaimed bad driver and I, I, I'm not proud it's not something I'm proud of but it's um you know it's one of those things it's just I'm just not good I'm not good either Jody says Dwayne always drives you love it but uh I also could never not have my license or car that's my independence yeah, true you know what I used to be like that Jody but anymore I don't care <laughs> I really I really don't. I'm just, I'm good. Just let me stay home. I'm good. Um, and you know what's funny though? Like when we go places as a family, I always drive. Jeff never drives. I think I told you guys the story before about the one time on a road trip that I did let him drive. I don't know if I ever have or not. It's kind of a funny story. If I Stop me if you've heard this one before. <laughs> So we're on our way home from spring break in Florida. And I we had gone to SeaWorld all day the day before. Here, I'll take it. I have got garbage over here. Um, it's on the floor. <laughs> we had gone to SeaWorld all the day all day. And we decided we were going to start driving from SeaWorld and drive home through the night. And the agreement was that I was going to start driving and then Jeff would sleep and then he would drive afterwards. Well, I used to be quite the control freak when it came to driving and I wanted to drive. I preferred to drive. So I was like, no, that's all right. I got it. So I had driven all night. I drove from Florida to Northern Ohio. I had driven for about 18 hours straight and we had about four hours to go. And I was exhausted. I, I literally, it was now morning. I could not even barely keep my eyes open. It was, it was getting dangerous. So I pulled over. I woke Jeff up and I said, you know, it's your turn. I can't, I just can't drive anymore. I've got to, I've got to rest for a little while. We're, you know, almost to Michigan. We're in Northern Ohio. You know, you take over. So we switch spots in the vehicle. We start going and I close my eyes. And I wake up, I think I woke up because he like slammed on the brakes or something. Like something kind of like stirred me out of my slumber. Or maybe just deep in my heart I knew that he was messing up. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wake up and I'm looking out the window and I see a road sign that says that we're traveling south. Yes, 
He drove 45 minutes in the <laughs> wrong direction. That's hilarious. Yeah. I was like, are you effing kidding me? I've been driving for 18 effing hours. No, 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 no. Pull over. Pull over. Get out. Get out. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Fine. I'll do it. Fine. I'll just do it myself. <laughs> and that's the Sorry. one and only time I have let him drive. Um, Hi, Sue Layden. How are you? I missed you coming in. Cecilia said she's a really good driver. <laughs> Sun Moon Love says she used to be a good driver. <laughs> oh, now you don't drive because of your MS. That makes sense. Patricia, her and her daughter are good drivers. Husband drives like a crash bandicoot. <laughs> Sun worries the hell out of me when he's behind the wheel. Oh, Irene, how are you? I am so glad that you're here. I was actually just going to ask if anyone had heard from you. Um, it's so nice to see you. I hope that you're doing well. Um, I don't know if I told you, Maddie, but Irene fell and had an accident oh, no. after our last live. Yes. So I hope that you're recovered oh, and doing well. <laughs> Karen said her husband criticizes all the other drivers. <laughs> Oh, no, and her husband said she'd be the first one he'd give a ticket to if he was the driving police. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Anita, how are you? So nice to see you. So what's everybody working on tonight? Is everybody diamond painting, crocheting? Pam, are you crocheting? What is everybody doing? Like I said, I could not work on my diamond coloring canvas just because that requires some focus and attention that... I do not, I can't, I can't multitask. I can't multitask and do that, do both those things at once. So, you know what I was thinking, Maddie? Hmm. Oh, you're just laying your first drills, aren't you? Yep. Fun. First drills laid on a brand new canvas. Isn't Ooh. that a great feeling? I love it, but it makes me feel like the end is nowhere in sight. Yeah, but it's not such a big canvas. No, it's not that big. No, it's not bad at all. What Did anybody get any um, new releases today from Diamond Art Club? And I'm going to be honest with you. I asked that question, but it's not your answer. If you tell me what you got really isn't going to mean anything to me because I knew that I could not order anything today. So I honestly kept myself away from even looking at what was even available. So I don't even know what came out today. I mean, it could have been the best diamond painting that ever what came out under the sun, moon, and stars, and I wouldn't know about it. Do you know what was out today, Maddie? Yeah, I checked it out. Nothing I really... I mean, they're nice, but nothing I, like, couldn't live without. Nothing you couldn't live without? Was it something I couldn't live without? Um, I don't know. I don't remember anything that was, like... Nothing stood out to you? Yeah. Whoa! You finished your Chuck painting, Anita? That's awesome. Super, super cool. Patricia's bagging up uh, leftover drills. Sue's working on her uh, her Chuck. Is it Chuck along? It is Chuck along, yeah. Going to the doctor to see how your knee is doing. Good. I'm glad you're doing good. Caden's doing the Where the Fun Never Ends. Nice. Lucy just crocheting nice sun moon love you're still working on your gnome from november that's funny <laughs> roxanne's diamond painting still making slippers everybody wants a pair that's right everybody slippers are awesome and i can't do slippers i um i had uh tried so hard to make slippers and I can't do it. I just can't do it. My toes end up funny. I, they look like little elf shoes. Aw, that's cute. Yeah, it's not cute. <laughs> it's funny because I mean I'm crocheting sweaters. I made a baby bonnet. I can do mittens. I can do anything it seems like, um, but I can't do slippers. They just are a huge fail, but I wish I could because I would love a pair of slippers. Um, let's see. 
Lisa said she's working on robot repair from DAC. Is that a um, Randall Spangler? I think it, it is. is. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, Maddie, how's your job going? Cynthia wants to know. It's good. I've been working from home a lot, which I love. Except my boss, we had an hour meeting about everything I'm doing wrong. It took an hour for him to tell you everything you're doing wrong? Her. Her. I'm sorry that I... I am sexist. I'm sorry I assumed your boss was a man. That was awful. She wasn't telling me everything I'm doing wrong. I'm just new, and she was like, like, why'd you do this? And I was like, I don't know. (laughs) What's wrong? (laughs) I don't know. It was really helpful. Yeah, it's really good. I love working from home. I get a lot more done at home, actually. Do you really? Yeah, which I thought I, I would have trouble with it, but I can really, like, focus... And, like, do I'm more you, comfortable. Do you, know? you listen to the radio or anything while you're working? Sometimes I'll, I'll put on music, but uh, I make a lot of calls. Oh, okay. Like, dealerships and stuff. Right. Sometimes I call DMVs just so I can sit on hold for hours and, like, play on my phone. <laughs> no, I hope not. What is the one for my birthday? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that she would didn't be really nice. say that. <laughs> That, that has happened a couple times, though. Cynthia said she didn't um, buy anything. Neither did Brenda. Sue didn't get anything. Roxanne got two on Wednesday. I haven't seen anything from Diamond Art Club that I loved in a while. Yeah. Irene says, hi, Maddie. Nice to see you. Hi. Yeah, Pam, I think that um, we talked about those before. She Her slippers look like... Uh, Converse tennis shoes. What? Yeah. That's awesome. I know. Super cool. Super cool. Pam is awesome with crochet. She makes amazing things. Oh, I'm wondering if anybody has seen these before. Do I have my phone yet? I heard it. Um, but my watch. Oh. Maddie just got a new Apple watch because she's a spoiled brat. Mm-hmm. Her daddy bought it for her. <laughs> is that a good deal on it? Yes. She got a good deal. She, Maddie got a new iPhone 13 Pro yesterday and a new Apple Watch. Let me see if I can. I sent it to you, Mom. What is it? It's It's made with, like, it looks like leftover yarn. And they're like, here, let's see if they. It was at the place in Pittsburgh, the craft This place. thing? Yeah, move it These? over a little. Nope, can't see it at all. Here. <laughs> I can't see the I can't see the camera. Um there. What is that stuff? It looks like it's felted wool. Like it's yarn that's been partially felted. I don't know, maybe somebody it's else. It's so neat. This is on an embroidery hoop. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's that looks really fun to do, and I don't know what it's called. Can you see it now? Did I yeah, show yeah, it? Yeah, I can see it. Does anybody know what that's called? What kind of a craft that would be yeah, considered? I'd, I'd like to look it up and do it. And they have like little hanging things like on these cool sticks. Would that be considered some form of macrame or no? It looks like it because see, it's crocheted here and then it's got these big yeah. lumps and then it's just got hangy stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've never, I've never quite seen anything like that. It says LEC Fiber Arts. Oh, EC Fiber Arts. Well, anything. That's their Instagram. Anything is called a fiber art. Anything that you, I mean. Right. But I don't know. I thought that was really neat. Yeah, that is really cool. So I've had a little bit of a change in my life lately that's kind of pissing me off, if anybody cares. Jeff. His work changed, and he has to go to work an hour earlier. It started this past week, which that means that I have to take Nate to school every day. Oh, my God. I know. Can you even believe that? Wow. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I have to get up (laughs) and take my kid to school every day. You even have to tell him to have a good day. I even have to tell him to have a good day. Right. I even have to tell him to put his seatbelt. No, he remembers to put his seatbelt on. But I have to drive all two miles to the high school to tell him to take him to school. Well, he goes to the middle school, but the middle school and the high school are right next to each other. <sighs> Can you believe it? The, the humanity. I used to take Nate to school. 
when he was in elementary. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh. I remember I would have to wake up, and I feel bad about this. I would be so mad that I had to wake up and take him to school because I was going to SVSU. Oh, yeah. And I wouldn't talk to him. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'm going to have a good day. I'd be like, stop it. <laughs> That's so mean. I, I think about that all the time. I feel so guilty. And I was tired. It's like 17. Bratty. <laughs> Maddie Braddy, that's what we used to call her. I did not know, I don't remember that. Was that when I was really sick? Yeah. Because I don't remember that. Because I was all. going to Saginaw Valley, I had all afternoon classes. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, I get to sleep in, and then I had to take Nate to school. Yeah. There was a time. It was right down the road, too. Yeah, it's like a mile away. <laughs> yeah. We went through a, a period of time when I was very ill, and, um,. I had a couple of surgeries, and I was just not physically well, and Maddie and Emily both had to step up and do some things around the house, and I don't know if it was just uh, just me being sick or if it was the medication that I was on because I had had surgeries, and I was on probably pain medication, but there's a good amount of time that I don't remember about that Yeah, like how time. you always say you've never seen Bates Motel when we used to watch it every Thursday. I've never seen Bates yes, Motel. You have. I've never seen Bates Motel. Oh my god. I've never seen it. Yes, you have. We watch it every Thursday. Remember? No, I don't. It's a good show. Scary. Is it punch stitching, Sue wants to know? Punch stitching? Yeah. Oh, that up. oh my flashlight's been Yeah, Lisa, I better put some makeup on when I take him to school. You're right. right. Yeah. Better punch look my best. Stitching. Now, do you need, do you mean punch needle? Because I do punch needle, Sue. Yeah, all that's popping up for that is punch needle. That doesn't look like and punch needle to me. I'm going to look up fiber. Arts. Where do I put fuber? <laughs> what comes up when you put in fuber arts? Do you guys ever do that? Like start to put any, any something into a Google search and see what pops up as the recommended, um, like the first suggestions? Yeah. I think that's so funny. Um, what is the most embarrassing? Try that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. All right. We're going to type what? in... The first few letter, the first few words of a question, and see what pops up first on Google what's search. What's the most expensive car? What's the most common blood type? No, what's, what's the most boring city? I what's the most know. embarrassing? Wait, Put I in, what's the, the most, most boring city? Midland, Michigan, is the most boring city in the state. I believe that. Uh, if anybody's ever been Midland. to Midland, Michigan, it is an extremely boring city. What's the most boring city in Michigan? Okay, what is the most embarrassing? Oh, I won't show me all of it. I'll just Google. What's the most embarrassing moment of your life? What is an embarrassing moment? What are some embarrassing things to do? That's a thing people have asked. Why would you want to do embarrassing things? Do you things? want to know a list of embarrassing things to do in public? Yes. Okay, here's a list of embarrassing things to do in public. Hey, dear. Okay, I've got a dare for you guys. I want all of you to pick one of these things, and within the next week, do one of these things in public. Okay. Okay. One of them is... Ask for a discount on something. Do this somewhere that seems completely inappropriate, such as a grocery or department store. Like McDonald's. Can I get a better price on those bananas? <laughs> the goal is to get the discount, but to embarrass yourself. Act as though there is nothing unusual about your request. <laughs> like a Walmart. Ask for Can I get a discount on that? <laughs> this one's funny. Okay. Ask for directions and then go the opposite way. <laughs> Leave the direction giver bewildered. <laughs> it's just right up there. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, turn, turn around. Turn the wrong way. Ask for directions to the place where you already are. <laughs> when they explain your embarrassing mistake, give a big smile and say thank you. That makes it so much easier. <laughs> I hope someone does. That. that would be great. Pay entirely with pennies. Count slowly and don't apologize. <laughs> Pretend to recognize someone you don't know. Walk up and say, hey, James, how are you doing? The other person will quickly tell that you've made a mistake. Well, that's, not, that that's not that embarrassing. This guy goes, 
you still got that nice mouth or something like that. <laughs> like, you're a forgetful little one. Or <laughs> like, this guy just walks up to random people and they, like, pretend they know him. It's weird. That's funny. Read a magazine or book upside down. Okay. <laughs> Try to sell your stuff to telemarketers when they call you. <laughs> Don't take no for an answer. <laughs> Like, well, you know what I've got. <laughs> Pam, I dare you to do that. Try to test out. If a telemarketer calls you, try to sell them some slippers. <laughs> You're like, you know what sounds like a great deal to me. <laughs> You've got these, this, this, whatever to sell me. I've got something for you. <laughs> Listen to what I've got for you. Deals, deals, deals. It is on discount today. I'm going to give you a two for one special. <laughs> Um, being the center of attention. Do you want to know how to be the center of attention? Yeah, I want to know how to be the center of attention. Go to a restaurant on your birthday and have them sing to you. Don't look at the table. Smile and look around the restaurant as you're the center of attention. <laughs> Pay with the wrong bills or change. Wait for the cashier to notice before correcting yourself. This is how to get attention. Press the wrong button for someone in an elevator. Do this on purpose, but then apologize and press the right one. <laughs> oh my this is a silly list. Show up late somewhere and make a spectacle of yourself. It might feel like the end of the world, but it's really not. <laughs> Dance in public as though there is music. Sing in public. Oh, and then there's tips for coping with embarrassment if you need to look that up. After. No, I don't. Those were good. Oh, Patty, your town can't be that bad. I've been there. Where? Um, well, I'm not going to tell everybody where Patty lives. Oh. <laughs> Pam said she's going to give that a try. Oh, yeah, Jody says, but wait, there's more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> that's my favorite. But wait, there's more. Act now and save. <laughs> right. Act now and you can also get this. <laughs> Lovely 13-year-old boy. <laughs> Try to sell your kid. <laughs> I'd be willing to throw in custody of a 13-year-old boy. He requires minimal attention. Just give him a Xbox and some Wi-Fi and he'll be good for years. Feed him once a day and he's happy. What's the most embarrassing moment of your life? This was a question Google asked. Okay, let me think about it. The most embarrassing moment of Every your life. Every moment of my life is embarrassing and awkward. Maddie, I know, you always feel that way. Do you know Maddie went through a period of time when she was a sophomore in college where she was frozen with anxiety about leaving her dorm room to go to class? Yes, and that's happening again. I always thought somebody was chasing me. And there's also, and then also you had a lot of anxiety about showing your arms. Remember when you wouldn't wear short sleeve shirts? Yeah, they're really hairy. I stand by that. <laughs> stand by now that. I don't care about the hair. I just wear short sleeves. But... Oh my gosh, if they're not manly hairy. I shaved them once. That made them hairier. Yeah, it did. Um, what's the most embarrassing moment of your life? I don't know. Let me think. I can think of something. Just, just give me I know, a second. I know. I don't think. Probably one time in middle school, we I was in this um, class where you it was like a public speaking class, mm -hmm. and this teacher should be put in jail for this. She would make you do speeches in front of the class, which is normal. But then she would like do this thing where she would pull a random topic out of a hat, yeah. call a random person, and have them come up and do a speech just like on the fly. Like, just randomly. Oh, that's And it had cool. to be two minutes long. How are you going to talk about something for two minutes that, that you, you just... don't even know about, and that my... you just heard about? This isn't the most embarrassing moment of my life, but I'll never forget it. My topic was, if you could go to any college, what college would you go to? I was in seventh grade. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I never thought about college. Right. And the only college I knew about was the community college that's here, is Delta. Right. And we would go there to swim sometimes. Yeah. Like a pool. Right. So I said... If I could go to any college, I would go to community Delta Community College because there's a pool and I could swim anytime I want. And then I stood there for the rest of the minute and 30 seconds and just 
And then I talked about the pool, like, after, like, the pool's really big. There's a slide and a diving board. And then it was just silent. Everyone was looking at me. That was horrible. Because did people say things like, I want to go to Yale and Harvard? Yeah, well, I didn't even know those things existed. Like, mm, was, that's probably poor parenting on my part for not giving you greater aspirations. Well, also thinks about college when they're 12. Nobody thinks about college when they're 12. I didn't, anyway. And I thought of, so but, okay. Awkward. This is, I'm telling you guys a deep, dark secret that I have never told a soul. Oh my god. Yes. And this is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in my life. And this is bad. This is so bad. I was in my mid-twenties. Early to mid-twenties. I was, uh, worked in a professional capacity for the city of Saginaw. Um, and I worked in an office and I had to dress up. And I was wearing a skirt and sweater set, and it was summer, and it was, we had a monthly group of people that all would go to lunch together. It was called the First Wednesday Club. The first Wednesday of every month, this group of about 20 or so people all got together, and we would go out to lunch at different restaurants. It was First Wednesday. And a friend in our little, you know, our smaller group had just gotten a new car. She got a convertible. And um, I was the youngest person in this group. Most of these people were, like, approaching retirement age. They were, you know, I was, you know, by far the youngest person in this group of friends. And the group of people in this, you know, this lunch club. So this one friend had just gotten this new convertible. And, um, we were going to lunch and she wanted to take her car and take us in her new car because wouldn't that be fun to go for a ride in her new convertible? So we get out to the car and she says, Angie, you can drive if you want to. Do you want to drive? Uh -oh. And I was like, really cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You know, I mean, I'm young twenties and you know, she just got this new cool convertible. Of course I'd love to drive. So she lets me drive to um, lunch and drive back from lunch. We come back to the office after lunch, and I am get up out of my desk chair to go into my boss's office, which our offices were connected. And uh, when I come back to sit down in my chair, on my chair there's a period stain. Uh-oh. I had bled, I was on my period, and I had bled through my pad onto my chair, onto my office chair. Oh, no. And so I went to the bathroom, and sure enough, the back of my skirt was a mess. I t went back, told my boss, I took my sweater set, wrapped it around my waist, and tied it, you know, so nobody could see, explained to her that I had to go home so that I could change my clothes. <sighs> As I was walking out to my car to go home to change, my friend's car that I had driven back from lunch, when I was walking past, I looked in the window and there was a stain on the a seat. A big one? Yes. Oh my God. Of her brand new car. <laughs> Isn't that Did she ever awful? say anything to you? And I was so young and so stupid and so like embarrassed that I never said anything. Maybe she never said anything no. either? No. Oh, she probably understood, you isn't know. Isn't that terrible? But isn't oh that horribly God. embarrassing? That's very embarrassing. It was At least it was another woman and she's probably that thing that's happened to her. But before. why didn't I say something and offer right. to clean it? And Yeah, you should have I mean, I really should have come on, been an adult about it, but yeah. <laughs> So that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. And now the world knows. Now, the world knows. now everybody knows. <laughs> oh, another embarrassing thing that happened to me? This might be the most. It was when my ex-boyfriend and I started dating. First started dating. And I had a hemorrhoid. Not to be gross. I was taking stool softeners. And I... You pooped your pants? I trusted a fart. You pooped your pants in front of a boyfriend? And we had just started. I don't even think we were dating yet. We were Who just hanging out. Julian? Mitchell. You and pooped your pants in front of Mitchell? Yeah. So I leave. Did you not smell? Didn't he smell it? Well, I left immediately. 
And I, and I ran out to my car and he's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I just have to go. He's like, did I do something? Well, and I was like, oh my God, now he's going to break up with me or whatever. Cause like thinks I'm weird. Did you tell him? I, well, I had to drive 20 minutes home in my poop pants and he's calling me and I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I, I shit myself. <laughs> you told him yes. you shit yourself? <laughs> and he laughed for like five treatments. He told everybody. That's just the kind of person he is. He can't keep anything in. He told everybody, he goes, you already pooped in my house. <laughs> he was like trying to hug me goodbye when I left. I was like, no. <laughs> poop in my pants. He told everybody. Just poop pants. Poop. <laughs> That was so embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I have to tell you that um, I've made that accident before. Uh, I trusted a fart. I trusted a fart and it was not a fart. Yep, it happens. It happens to real people. I like, mean, it's real the life. Stool softeners, you take too many. You know, Mackenzie one time cracked up for so long because when I had this hemorrhoid, I would walk around with witch hazel wipes tucked between my butt. <laughs> yeah. She thought that was really funny. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you do. I, I think know. I'm the one who told you to yeah, do that. I mean, it helped. When you have a baby after childbirth, when you have hemorrhoids, that's what you do. You put witch hazel pads between your I don't know how I got cheeks. a hemorrhoid. I don't know how you got hemorrhoids either when you were so young. That was so weird. We went to the doctor and everything. Yeah, there's a hemorrhoid. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Stay off the toilet. <laughs> Oh, how funny. Yeah. <sighs> Patty says shit happens. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Patty, you live, well, I don't want to say, well, your name is Sun Moon Love, so nobody's going to know who you really are. You live in Alpena, right? That's a nice. Place. Alpena's awesome. Don't you live in Alpena? Unless I'm thinking of the wrong person. I don't think I am, though. The most boring place is probably Gary, Indiana. I don't know if it's boring. It's just kind of... Yeah, Gary, Indiana is pretty... I like going through there, though. <laughs> you know what's boring is this section of this diamond painting that I'm working on. Yeah, it's all boring. yellow. Hi, Mindy. How are you? <laughs> Caden, so funny. That was a shitty story. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Oh, Atlanta. Yeah, I know where Atlanta is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Mindy doing tonight? We, um, I feel so bad. We totally missed your, vi the, your video or your live tonight, Mindy, because I was telling everyone earlier, Nate and Maddie went and bought a new guitar today. So they were learning how to play. We're jamming. They, they were jamming and I didn't, Man, Nate is, and I know that you will remember how this is, Nate's 13 years old, and as a 13-year-old boy, it's very difficult for me to get him out of his bedroom to do anything other than his video games. So if he wanted to come out and spend time with us as a family, I wasn't about to be like, sorry, um, I've got Mindy's live right now. <laughs> so I kind of, kind of let them do their... Let them do their guitar thing. Nate's going to be a rock star. And I'm going to be that person who's at a bonfire and you whip out an acoustic guitar and play Wonderwall. It's going to be me. <laughs> You're going to be Anyways, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> anyways, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> I said maybe. I was just going to give him a... Except that you're tone deaf, so... I'm not tone deaf. That's what Austin says. He's tone deaf. Austin's a good singer. You can't be mean to Austin. Mindy, I'm so glad that you're getting here late because you missed my world's most embarrassing story <laughs> story. And it's not one that I would want you to hear. <laughs> You'll never let me drive your car. <laughs> <laughs> and I, the only reason I was able to tell that story is that that lady has since passed away. So. <laughs> like I said, she was much older than me. And that was 25 years ago that that happened. You know, I've never had a fear of public speaking. I don't anymore, but in, like, middle school, you know, it's... Well, stressful. everybody feels awkward in middle school. Yeah, exactly. I have a fear... I don't have a fear of public speaking, but if there's any 
figures of authority around, I'm freaked out. I can't even talk to my bosses without, like, my voice shaking. Yeah, you do get weird. Yeah, you all, you act very awkward in front of positions of authority. I do. Like, when I went, when I got, went to go get sworn in for the notary stuff, I had to walk through a metal detector and there's cops there. And I beeped on the way in. They're like, oh, do you have your phone in your pocket? I was like, yeah. So I gave it to him and I was fine. And I, my notary signature is so spiky because I was shaking so hard. Cause I was like, so were, oh my shows. God. <laughs> like it was spiky. It looks horrible. Oh. Now all my stuff is going to look like that because I was shaking. I um, had an experience when I last went through a metal detector. I have two um, neuromodulators in my buttocks, one on each side. They're for one is for my bladder, um, and one is for my pudendal nerve. It's supposed to help with pudendal nerve pain. It doesn't work, but it's there nonetheless. And they're implanted medical devices. They're similar to a pacemaker, but um, they're connected to nerves. So I have these uh, uh, medical cards to say that I have implanted medical devices so that when I go through a metal detector, it, because it sets off a metal detector. Right. And it sets off the scanners at the airport. They can see that I have something, you know, in my, they can see it yeah, when they, when they do that scan brain. or whatever. So I had flown recently when I went to Houston and um, I didn't have my identification cards with me. And to try, and it was like they had never heard, they acted like I was some sort of like cyber, cyborg freak. <laughs> they didn't understand that it was a pacemaker, but it was in my, they were in my butt, not in my chest. <laughs> like I'm trying to explain what it is. And they acted like I was like this. So basically I didn't have to strip down or anything, but I had to have a female TSA agent come and like grope me. Oh my like God. she like literally... She groped me. <laughs> it was crazy. That's so weird. I know. That I had to do that at one of the airports. They, like, feel right here. Like, oh, they felt your, your cleavage? Yeah. You don't have any cleavage. I know. That's why I was like, there's nothing to hide in there. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of women do hide stuff in their cleavage. They, like, carry money there yeah. and keys and I phones. I would if I could. And... I could put it in all the empty space in my bra. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny is I was always very flat chested until um, I was about 24 years old. That's when I got boobs. Weird. Yeah. I was a barely B. I was a barely B Same. cup. Well, they say I'm a C, but I'm a C. You're a B. Yeah. They always say you're a big. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mindy said they saw hot five new pieces of art. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I want to go. I will we'll definitely watch it. If I don't watch it tonight... Um, I'll watch it tomorrow. I always love watching the interviews with Chuck. He's very, very, uh, he, it just, he's a very, how can I describe him? Um, humble, I, I think is a good, is a good descriptor. He's just a normal guy. It, it just, um, he just comes across as such, just such a nice guy. Like he's the kind of person that I would like my children to be like, you know what I mean? Like, or like, I would like my daughter to marry, you know? He's just, yeah, super nice guy. Everybody says he's handsome, too. I don't know. He's How not my... Like, Chuck? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's probably in his late 30s, would you say, Mindy? I don't, late 30s? Mid to late 30s? Probably mid to late 30s. Probably mid 30s, maybe. I don't know. Too young for me. Maybe if I'm <laughs> ever back on the market. If you're ever back on the market, uh, you might hook up with Chuck. Austin's calling me. I don't know how to turn off this watch. Maddie got a... Maddie's Apple watch is ringing and she doesn't know how to turn it off. Oh, I got it. Sorry about that, everyone. We should get Austin on here. Maybe he could play us I'll some answer. music. Is he at work? Hello? Hey! Hi, can I call you back? I'm on live. Say hello. Hello! Hello! <laughs> okay, I'll call you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye. 
Bye, love you. Well, that was Austin making his YouTube premiere. Not really, because he has his videos out there. Yeah. Um, but your trip was good, huh? Now, yes. Yeah, getting back to your trip. We kind of yes. got off top. It's funny, I was talking about getting back on the market, and then Austin called me. <laughs> it's like he knew. It's like he knew you were, you were, you were contemplating it. Plus, I think Chuck is happily married. Oh, with well, don't At least it. one kid, if not a couple. 40-ish, Caden says, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a little too yeah. funny anyway. Yeah, he does have a nice voice. Oh, Pam. Pam's going to bed. She has to get up at 4.30. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I want to stay up all night tonight. Okay. Mindy says 42 or 43. Yeah, that sounds right. Cynthia says, hi, Austin. Hi, Irene Meyer. How are you? We got both Irene's in the house tonight. So Irene nice. squared. Irene squared, that's right. Maddie says she wants to pull an all-nighter. Does anybody want to take any bets with me that she won't make it past midnight? <laughs> I don't know. I probably won't. She will not make it past midnight. She talks a big game. I get sleepy. But she gets pretty sleepy. And you know one thing about Maddie that makes me think that she's not really my child? She doesn't nap. I am the queen of naps. I think I nap every day. I nap when I'm hungover. And that's just me waking up, chugging water, and going back to sleep. So I think so that's just an extension, extension of sleep. Extension of the sleep, yeah. Especially now that I'm up to take Nate to school every morning, I definitely am napping every day. I mean, because I have napped. I have to get me. up. He has to, we leave for school at 7, but I'm, he has perfect attendance and no tardies all year. And I'm so nervous that I'm going to ruin that for him that I get up at 5 o'clock. Oh my god. Because I'm so worried that, um, Why doesn't he take the bus? Exactly why doesn't he take the bus? It goes right past our house. Yeah, I, mean, I, I took the bus. I know, I told him your sisters had to take the bus both ways. They were the last ones off and the first ones on. They had to spend an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon on the bus yep. every day. They did it for years and years and years. Yep. I should make him. He rides the bus home from school. I met Chelsea on the bus, my BFF. Yep. And you guys are still BFFs. Mm -hmm. Yupper. So what else is going on? Oh, um, did you know that Aunt Kim came home for a visit? No. Yeah. So my sister-in-law lives in Tennessee, and this past weekend, um, she just showed up. Randomly? Yep. Just her? Yep. And surprised uh, my in-laws with a visit. Aw. Yeah. So that was kind of nice. I I missed her. Yeah. That was pretty nice, I thought. Just to cheer up mom and dad and just for no reason at all. It was nice to see her. So we went over there last, oh my gosh, last weekend, Dada took me out to dinner. Where'd you go? We went to the Outback. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Crikeys. Yeah. We, um, I have been, um, well, you guys know I've been kind of out of it lately. So just to kind of cheer me up, he took me out to dinner and we... That's not some place we would normally go because it's, I don't know. I mean, it's not that pricey, but it's a little pricey. But we went out to Outback for dinner and I got a filet mignon, a fillet mignon. <laughs> fillet mignons are so delicious. Got it rare. The only way to have a steak is rare. I will fight you if you disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So, so good. But that's what we did last weekend, and then I went to Hobby Lobby and got some cotton yarn. I'm making a, making a blanket using cotton yarn, which I've never, I mean, I've worked with cotton to make a dress for my granddaughters, but not to make a blanket, and it's really kind of interesting to work with. Anybody brownie mix? No. 
Negative. Negative, negative. I'd like a peanut butter brownie. Only old people nap, Caden? That exactly. True. That's why I nap, because I am old. <laughs> oh, Jody says you're going to be snoozing after your second dinner. True. True. True, true, true. I was just true. thinking about second dinner <laughs> and third dessert, which is why I want brownies. Oh, Chrissy says that she's going to stay up all night working on Sneaky Cat. Cute. Ooh, I have Sneaky Cat. You I never do seen. have Sneaky Cat. Yeah. Yes, Mary Lou, there cat. will be a yarn video soon. Um, the um, It should be, if not before Tuesday, then Tuesday at the very latest. I have got, uh, because I've been out of the loop for so long, I have got about 10 unboxing videos I need to do for diamond painting um, from companies. And I need to get those out there. Uh, but I also have a couple of mystery packs that I got from Hobby Yarns that I want to um, do my yarn, on my yarn video. And I've got a couple finishes um, and... Um, Got some yarn from one of my Annie's Kits Clubs. Cut no, from two Annie's Kit Clubs. So I've got those to show you what I've how I'm progressing on those. And then I really, really am excited to show you what I've been doing on that cotton blanket. It's very beautiful. It's a it's a uh, pattern that I bought from Hooked on Sunshine. I don't know any of you who crochet if you've ever heard of that designer, Hooked on Sunshine. If you haven't, check out their website. I'm going to have to they check that out. They have the most, she has the most gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. Ooh. And I am not one usually for written patterns. Um, I usually find them a little bit difficult to follow if it's a complex pattern. But her patterns are so well written and she has great um, pictures that go with every step. Um, it's like, I don't, I feel spoiled by those patterns. They're so well written. I don't ever want to like read another pattern again. They're so nice. But yeah, I I, but, and I have been diamond painting quite a bit lately too. So, um, I've been working on Orange Crush from Dreamer Design. I've been really liking that. My friend Jody showed me a picture of somebody who had completed it and it looked so gorgeous that I can't wait to get it finished. It's so, so pretty. And then I also have a new diamond painting pen on its way to me, finally. I ordered it like back in February and it's just finally getting shipped. And I ordered some, um, what else did I, do I have on order? Oh, some hanks of yarn from a specialty dyer that um, I'm excited to get to. But not I'm on a spending freeze. <laughs> I've been on one. I, I know, you've been doing anything on well. Amazon. Hi, Judy. How are you? Cynthia likes hers very rare, too. Cool, cool, cool. I like a medium rare. A little rare. Yeah. Oh, Mary Lou, I hate it when that happens. She bought yarn at Michael's. It's cut and tied in a bunch of places. Oh, that's yeah. Sucks. Loops and threads yarn. I I don't care for Michael's brand yarn. It's not my favorite. It's the impeccable isn't bad. Um, but I I don't care for that loops and threads brand. It's just it's not my favorite. I've not been impressed by it. I just got a bedtime reminder on my watch. Do you have a bedtime on your watch? Yeah, I still have a bedtime. I set it for weekly. Oh. This is... Maddie's watch just told her it's time for bed. It's also been telling me to drink water. Oh. Does wine count? Yeah, I'm going to say I just drank eight ounces. <laughs> wine counts as water. Why not? Why not? Bye, Irene. Have a good night. Yeah, Mary Lou, that sucks about that. When I, I hate it when that happens, especially if it's a uh, self-striping yarn and it messes with the flow yeah. of the pattern. Where if it's, you know what I mean, if it's cut. Why does that happen? Because it's like at the end of a end of a roll. 
Oh, uh, when they're like when they're it. processing it, right? But I've gotten skeins of yarn before where it's like there's five different t- cut and tie marks in one skein of yarn. It's like, what did you, you know? What did you do? What did you do? Technically, that should go in the mill end um, bin, as far as I'm concerned. They shouldn't sell that as a as like a first run yarn. That should go into the mill ends, for in my opinion. Oh, you know what we're going to do again, too, you guys, that we, um, actually, I forgot about it tonight, but, um, we're going to do it again next time. We're going to get that game back out and do some, oh, solve yeah. some more of the world's problems, because that was a ton of fun. That was fun. We solved a lot of the world's problems. We did. And everybody was worried about us last time, Maddie, about how we felt the next day after our, um, after our... Moonshine. Oh. But we felt we were okay. We were fine. I was fine. I don't I mean we were a little bit toasty that night, but we weren't too bad. I felt good the next day. So what else has been going on with you? Nothing. I don't do anything. That's not true. I don't. You had oh, Maddie had a tarot card reading. Oh yeah, my friend. Her birthday was a couple weeks ago, and we rented a penthouse apartment downtown, and we had a, she had a psychic come and read tarot, and that was really interesting. Do you believe it? Um, well, she said, she was, because uh, I'm thinking about moving, she goes, are you moving soon? I was like, maybe. But that's, what, like, how did she know that? And she told me she sees me having a job where I have fun. And she told me she can tell I'm in love. And she, I said, I love my life. I'm very happy. But when will I be super excited, you know, about life? And she said, when you have a family. She's like, I pulled the grandchildren card. So when I have a big family, she hmm. said, I'll be very happy. But you don't want any children. That's what, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I, you guys, I've been trying to talk Maddie into having a baby. Well, sometimes I really want to, but then sometimes, I, like, I'm at a restaurant. And, <laughs> and you see bratty kids. Yeah, I'm eating my food. I'm like, dang, I can just eat this food. It's still warm. I don't have to, like, feed a kid first. I do whatever I want all the time. Once I get a dog, we'll see how I do. Oh, Joe, do you have an Apple Watch, too? Cool, cool. What are some cool apps to get on it? Because I was looking up. That's how I found that water drinking app. I'm All right, Jody. Maddie wants to know about cool apps to get on her watch. Where did I get my yarn roller? I got it on Amazon. And if, um, do, 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 what was, let me grab it and I can show it, show you the box. And I love it. It it works really, really well. It's called Craft Destiny Yarn Ball Winder. And it wasn't very expensive. It, it And it works really, really well. Um, I've not had any problems with it so far. And I've used it quite a bit. But then you have to buy a Swift, too. You know, a yarn Swift. Um... And I got I, I got that on Amazon too, and it was a it's a Stanford is the brand Stanford Amish Yarn Swift. Yeah. No, Kathy, I cannot solve all your problems. I wish <laughs> I could. Cynthia, she's not too young. She's almost twenty five. She needs to start thinking about it. Her biological clock is ticking. I am too young. If I got married, I'd be a child bride. You <laughs> I don't think so. I think that you are probably um, chronologically not too young to have a child, but I think that you're emotionally too young to have a yeah, child. Exactly. I don't think I you're haven't... Ready. Your maturity level is not there. It's been the same since I was 10. Yeah. Um, I haven't matured. I mean, when I was Maddie's age, I already had two kids and was divorced. <laughs> but I can't imagine that for Maddie. Nope. Just, just different people. I just want to have fun right now. Well, that's fine. That's have awesome. A good time. But 
I just want another for a good time, not a long time. I think it's because I'm going through menopause. I'm having a really tough time with it mentally. And um, it's the feeling that the choice is being taken away from me. Now, I've had my tubes tied for 12 years, 13 years, about 12 years. Um, so I've, you know, not been able to have a child for that long. But those are reversible. You know what I mean? Like, the option has always been there. And now that I'm going through menopause, the option is being taken away from me by Mother Nature. And I'm wrestling with that. And I don't, it makes me feel sad to think that I can't have a baby if I wanted to. I took a pregnancy test the other day. Why? Because my stomach felt weird and I felt like a flutter and I looked it up and it it said pregnancy. So I took a, I ordered it on GoPuff and I ordered popcorn and sour candy and and a pregnancy pregnancy test. test. And it was negative? Yes. Okay, Okay, good. You weren't late for a period, were you? Uh Uh-uh. All right, everybody, you heard it here first. Maddie's not pregnant. Not pregnant. Good. Because I want you to have a baby just because I want a baby in my life. <laughs> but I think it would be a lot of work. I was, I was really tired when we went to, we were going to get it. We were coming home. It was the day before we went on vacation, Austin and I. Uh-huh. And he takes the wrong exit. And I said, what are you doing? I want to go home. Please don't take the long way home. Because he always does that. Uh huh. And he goes, well, I thought you wanted to go to CVS. And I said, I hope I'm, I said, I better not be pregnant because our kid would never know how to drive. <laughs> There's something like that. Our kid would never even take the right way to the home. <laughs> so it's so stupid. I was just so mad. <laughs> oh, Maddie. You're so funny. So I just ordered one on the app. <laughs> Our kid would never know how to drive. <laughs> he was like, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, God bless that man for putting up with you. <laughs> I read this thing, or it was like a TikTok or something, that was like, you know how you're mean to the people you're closest with? Like, the person you're closest with, you can be mean to them? Yes. And it's actually a good thing, most of the time, because you feel so comfortable with them, you feel like you can be mean. Because with other people, you can be mean to them. You know what I mean? Right. So I always tell Austin, I was like, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that I treat you so badly? I don't treat him badly. (laughs) Yes, you do. No, I don't. You treat him like a servant. He likes it. He does not. (laughs) Austin. (laughs) Will you get me this? He's always putzing around the house. He could walk to get me something. Mindy, you're having fun balling yours by hand? Are you? Ooh. No, you're not. You're being sarcastic. Cynthia had her son at 32. That's a good age. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mary Lou, I would love to do a roller tutorial. That would be fun. I would love to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Sleep apps are cool, Jody said. They monitor your uh, sleep cycles. Do you have to sleep with the watch on, I'm assuming? No, Maddie, you well, can put it, the watch it, across the fucking room and it's going to keep right Well, how it's gonna, how's it going to charge? How's it going to charge? You have to charge the watch. Char- I guess I can charge it before bed. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to download a sleep app. You do that. Maybe it'll charge from the bioelectric currents of your body. I took 5,372 steps today. Something. Okay, anybody who knows about steps, tell me if that's a lot of steps. It's not. 5,000. 2.6 miles. Oh, I don't know. I know nothing about it. Nothing about it. Jody was pregnant at 24 and 25. That's a good age, too. Yeah. I had Maddie, I had Emily at, oh, Karen says there's already a sleep app on there. Oh. See, Karen knows that. Karen's smart about all this stuff. Oh, here it is. It's a bed. Oh, uh, it's That's a bed. That's the thing that told me to go to bed. Oh. Full schedule. Sleep goal, eight hours. Wind down, 45 minutes. And Karen also says, charge it when you take a shower. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> that's super smart. Yeah, there's a reason why there, <laughs> there's a reason why uh, there are smart people like you. 
for all of us dummies out yeah, here who don't think of that kind of stuff. On it. My Memoji. Got your Memo. Aw, it does look like you. How cute. Except it doesn't have glasses. Yeah. Oh, it measures sound. So right now I'm talking at 74 decibels, 79. Ah. Uh, Mindy says so she tries to get eight to 10,000 steps a day. Oh, what am I at? 5,000? Oh, maybe I'll go for a walk. Yeah, right. From the fridge to the couch. That was 68 decibels. Okay, you know what I would love to do? I would love to wear your watch for a day <laughs> and see how many steps I take in a day. You know what's something funny? I downloaded this the water drinking app yeah. and I connected it to my health app which has been tracked on my phone for a while, but, you know, just the Apple Watch for, like, a day. Yeah. And it pre-programmed my stuff from my health app, and it said, lifestyle, sedentary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I always say that if I had one of those apps, I would, it would, like, be calling the authorities. Right. Because they would think I was dead because I didn't move. <laughs> I got enough step, as many steps as... Uh, as it takes to walk from the fridge to the chair to the bathroom and back. And that's just okay. It's gotta be. It, it, You're retired. It, it doesn't, I don't have any choice. You know what my biggest, um, fear is though? One of my biggest fears is I'm going to get one of those shelf butts. You know the butts that are like out and then like a shelf? Those are in right now. Shelf butts are in? Well, big then maybe butts I, are. Big butts are in? Well, maybe I want one then. I don't know about a shelf, but I know big butts are. But I did notice when I was getting out of the shower uh, yesterday, I looked in the full-length mirror at myself naked. That was a scary thing to do. Boy, oh boy, do I have some uh, cellulite on my butt. Oh, me too. Oh my goodness. It was like cottage cheese. Me too. It's horrible. Under my butt, on my butt. Yeah. I don't think you do, because I've seen you in a bathing suit. And you it's don't. there. They're I, dimples. When I clench my cheeks, they're really bad. Well, then don't clench your cheeks. I know. <laughs> Patricia said she didn't even start having kids until she was 32. Daughter at 32, and the son at the week after she turned 36. Yup. Your daughter, Brenda good. said her daughter had twins at 37. Yep. Cynthia says, from my bed to my craft table to the bathroom to the kitchen, repeat. Yes, yep. exactly. That sounds like exactly. a good life. Exactly. Oh, Paula, there's a reminder feature that tells you to stand up. Screw that. I don't want anybody telling yeah, me to stand it, it up. It told me to stand up earlier. No. It's probably going to tell me to stand up right now. No, I don't want anybody telling me. It'd be telling me that all day long. Oh, it says I should do an outdoor walk right now. It tells you to go for an outdoor walk? Oh, no. It's just giving me options of what I could do. Oh, okay. Because that's not a good idea. It's dark out and cold. Dark and cold. Open the health register. Oh, you can track your period on here? You know what? I already feel bad enough about my health. I don't need a watch making me feel even worse. Well, you know how bad I've been walking the last two days. <laughs> you guys should see Maddie walking. Oh my gosh. She, I, she got up to walk to the kitchen and she could barely move. It was so funny. I took a Zumba class and I'm sore. And I can't walk. She took a Zumba class and she couldn't even keep up with the pregnant lady at the Zumba class. It was Yeah, and the Zumba class was on Thursday. It's Saturday and I'm still feeling it. <laughs> it's fun. What is Zumba? Is it like dancing? Yeah, it's like dance fitness. Oh. It's really fun. And it's a, it's a great workout because you don't really notice. I mean, you notice, but you're like having a good time, but you're also getting exercise. So it's like jazzercise. Yeah, kind of. But it's more like, I think it's more like Latin inspired music, but it's also oh. got like rap and like just like fast music, you know. Okay. That sounds like fun. It's very fun. Where did you go to that at? It was pretty far away from me. It was in Sterling Heights. Oh. But it was the cheapest class I could find. It was only 10 bucks. Oh, and is it just like a drop-in thing? Yeah. And my first class, I guess, was free, so they credited me one, so I have to go back. <laughs> Is it going to be one of those things that you do once and then you're done? You're like, I'm going to oh. try to go once a week. Now, didn't you get a gym membership with your job? Yes. So, are you using that? I go tanning. You go tanning. 
And do you think that counts as using your gym membership? No. Oh, okay. I can't go to the gym. I hate it. Why? I, it's boring. I'm bored. I need to be constantly amused. <laughs> Don't, do you know what I mean, though? Like symptom of our gener of the new generation, right? We need to be constantly amused, constantly exactly. entertained. Speaking of being constantly entertained, we always talk about what we're watching right now. Maddie and I are watching. Is anybody else watching this on Netflix? Inventing Anna. It's that show about the um, girl who was the fake German heiress that scammed places out of like millions of dollars. It's, it's so good. So it makes good. you want to scam so bad. Yeah. So, so good. So, so good. Oh, guess what else? Um, guess what I did, you guys? I cut all my hair off. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell everyone. You'll see it on Tuesday when I do my yarn video. Cut off all my hair. I have had long hair, like, down to my waist for about 15 years. And I cut it all off. Actually, I didn't cut it all off. I had Jeff do it. I didn't even go and have a professional haircut. I had Jeff cut all my hair off last Saturday. And I love it. Um, it's refreshing. It's, it's kind of hard to get used to because I've worn a bun in my hair. My hair in a bun every day of my life for years and years and years. So it's weird to get used to the feeling of hair on my neck, but I'm getting used to it. So that's a big change I made in my life. I'm thinking about, I have a hair appointment in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And I had like silver blonde highlight. I had it dark with silver blonde highlights. Yeah. And I loved it. Yeah. So I think I want to do more of the silver highlights like everywhere. Do it. I think that would look okay. Yeah. Although M Mima just told me that silver is not in anymore. What? That's what I said. I still think it is. I don't know now. I guess I don't see it that much anymore. Should I be right? I just think it's funny that my 70-some-year-old mother-in-law <laughs> was telling me what was in style and what wasn't. She's stylish. She is pretty <laughs> stylish. She That's is funny, pretty, though. She <laughs> is pretty stylish. That's so funny. Because I had said that I wanted, because I'm going gray, and I wanted to just go all the way gray rather than be partially gray like I am. So I wanted to dye my hair all the way gray. So I got this hair color kit, and it first has a bleaching kit in it. You don't need to bleach. So I bleached it so that I could dye it gray. Well, in bleaching it, it only partially bleached my hair. It only did the top part of my hair and it didn't bleach it blonde it bleached it Ronald McDonald orange <laughs> literally my hair looked like Ronald McDonald it was so awful and it only did the very top part it didn't do the ends so I was like oh my heavens and the bleach burned my scalp my scalp was all like inflamed Jeez. yeah so I was like, okay, we got to give this a rest for a day. I can't put anything else on my head. My hair will fall out. So we left it for a day. And then the next day I decided just to color it a, nor a normal color. So I just went back to, I just got a dark brown. So now my hair's just, it looks exactly like it did before. <laughs> no change. But a lot of, yeah, a lot of yeah. work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, elephants and Diamond Drill says 10,000 are the recommended amount of steps to take a day. Hm. Oh, I'm only half. Karen says at 10 minutes till the top of the hour, if you've been sitting, it'll suggest you stand. That's so cool. Paula's mom had her first baby at 22 and two others 11 years apart. Wow. That's wow. the same as me and Nate. Yep. Sue says you should find a boot camp workout. That'd be fun. Uh, yeah, I should do that this summer. <laughs> Jody says silver better still be in. Jody has the most gorgeous silver hair. It's she has absolutely beautiful hair. I like silver hair. Cynthia, so good point. What am I gonna do with all the fucking bun hats I made? I, <laughs> <laughs> I did manage to. Um, I did. Managed to take one and um, da, 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 
finish it up to the top to make it a, a, a normal hat. I had, it was the style of crochet that it was. I was able to do that. I'm just going to have to make different hats. I'll have to give Maddie my bun hats. Yeah. You want my bun hats? Sure. Okay. I'll give them to Maddie. You know what, Cynthia? That's the thing. My hair's thin, too, and I don't think it looks great. Oh, Patricia, show you how short it is. Ugh, oh, yuck. I don't know if I want to. Oh, Mindy said she went to the gym four times this week. Wow. I know. I, I, Mindy is like the king. That is the king. How do you get the motivation? She is the king of going to the gym. Yeah, you know what? I think why, Mindy? Because doesn't... Um, doesn't your husband go with you to the gym? Don't you guys go together? Oh, yeah. Gym buddy would help. If you had a gym buddy, that would definitely help. I was thinking about getting a I don't know if trainer. I can show you. I don't know. Let me put, I, how, I don't know. How bad does my hair look right now? It looks now? good. I like the half up, half down Okay. Thing. I've got part, I've got the bangs pulled up. I'm going to try to stick my face in front of the camera. We'll see how this works. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> um, here, I'll go stand over here and I'll have Maddie move the camera. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ugh. No, you just move it on there. There we go. Okay, keep so, going up. Oh, sorry. See, it's short now. Short hair. Da -da -da. What do you think? I've got the sides up in a barrette, but it's gone. It's all gone. No more bun hat. Oh, and now I got the camera bouncing all over the place. Sorry about that. Mary Lou said I tried to make a hat with a different size needle and it looks like a pretty red meat platter. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Cynthia. I, I appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm hoping that I will feel better soon. Makes me look younger, Mary Lou. Thank you. I, I need to go. It does. I, I need to do that. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> no, that wasn't what I was going for. It was just a, it was just so unhealthy. It was long and it was um, just a snarly mess. And it was, it was just a snarly mess all the time. And I just decided I needed a change. But then I, you know, I've been going through some stuff lately. And have you ever heard it, like, said, like, people who are having, like, mentally ill people will, like, that's a sign of mental yeah. illness to mm -hmm. cut all your hair off? I've heard that. Yeah, so then I thought, oh my gosh, I hope that, like, I hope that doesn't come across as I'm losing my mind, the fact that I cut off all my hair. <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't think that's the case. I'm ready for second dinner. Oh, thank you, Kieran. Beautiful inside and out. I Aww. look like a teenager. Thanks, Patty. I appreciate <laughs> it. Oh, you know what? It's getting late. Wow, it's almost already 1040. Oh, hi, nice day. We're just getting ready to say goodbye. I'm so sorry. Um, catch us on the replay. Um, but yeah, we should get going. Maddie's ready for second dinner. Mm-hmm. And we've been on here for quite a while. Just um, got lost track of time there a little bit. But thank you guys. I Thanks everybody for showing support and coming back to see me. Even though I've been gone for a while. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Like I said, I've got I'm backlogged. i got tons of unboxings to do. And plenty of yarn stuff to talk about too. So I will be around. I will be around for sure. All right. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Nice. You got it.